the commander of a U.S. destroyer is on higher alert due to Russian presence in the Black Sea during the ongoing sea breeze exercise. CMDR. Craig Trent, the commanding officer of destroyer USS Porter, DDG-78, said while the Russians are operating in the Black Sea, he doesn't anticipate any negative interactions with them during the Sea Breeze 20 exercise. There's definitely Russian presence up here. There hasn't been any confrontation. Every interaction I've had with them has been safe and professional, Trent told reporters in a virtual media roundtable today. They're definitely present. They're definitely watching us. We're watching them. Ellipsis. If anything ever does become unsafe or unprofessional, that's something that we're ready to take action to make sure that we are safe. Russia's state-run TASS news agency last week reported that the Russian Navy disclosed it would conduct snap drills in the Black Sea. Comparing the ship's experience operating in the Black Sea to the Mediterranean Sea, Trent said the environment for sea breeze requires increased awareness. We definitely have to pay closer attention to our surroundings and be more aware of the picture, of their picture, basically the under the sea, on the sea and in the air, he said. I think we're on overall just higher alert. Other than that, we're very careful about when we take down any systems for maintenance because we want to keep that keen alertness, Trent continued. And we're also careful about what we do. We don't want to send the wrong signal to anybody. Russian fighters have had a history of buzzing U.S. destroyers operating in European waters. In 2017, Russian military aircraft buzzed Porter after the destroyer finished an exercise with Romania. In 2016, two Suhoi Su-24 fencers conducted several low-level passes of USS Donald Cook, DDG-75, when it was operating in the Baltic Sea. The Sea Breeze Maritime Exercise is slated to last a week, with eight countries, 19 aircraft and 26 vessels participating. The United States, Ukraine, Bulgaria, Georgia, Norway, Turkey, Spain and Romania are joining together for this multi-domain exercise. Trent said the drills are focused on air defense, search and rescue, and anti-submarine warfare. Plus, we're doing close maneuvering, some maneuvering exercises between the ships, some simple and advanced exercises. And all that involves communicating and sharing information with each other, learning about each other's capabilities, Trent said. CMDR. Trevor Plageman, the commanding officer of Patrol Squadron VP-47, which is also taking part in the exercise, said participants are using the MK-39 Expendable Mobile Anti-Submarine Training Target, or EMATT, to replicate a submarine target.
It's a training device that we use, either deployed from the aircraft or deployed from a sister unit operating on the service, that effectively provides a selective and collaborative training to simulate an underwater submarine, if you will, Plageman said. And it really is great training for us to provide interoperability training between sister units, allies, partners, etc. The U.S. Navy has maintained a steady presence in the Black Sea since the 2014 seizure of Crimea from Ukraine by Russian forces. Admiral James Fogo, who earlier this month turned over command of U.S. Naval Forces Europe and Africa, said the U.S. Navy and NATO were trying to take their available ships and create as much presence in the Black Sea as possible, shifting to operating ships there one after the other instead of at the same time to create more days when the alliance was in the Black Sea to watch for any Russian aggression. This year, the exercises are being held for the 20th time, and for the first time, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, without a coastal phase. The ships should meet at sea at the rendezvous point and carry out a multi-day set of exercises. Combat aviation will only work over the sea, interacting with ships. Eight countries are participating in the exercise, Bulgaria, Georgia, Norway, Romania, Spain, Turkey, Ukraine and the United States. In total, 27 ships participate in the maneuvers. The aviation component includes 19 airplanes and helicopters. Sea Breeze is an annual multinational exercise that has been held in Ukraine since 1997. The purpose of the exercise is to improve cooperation and coordination between the countries of the Black Sea region, except for the Russian Federation, to practice maneuvers at sea and on land. Ukraine provides the military and civilian infrastructure of the Black Sea coast, and the United States supports training financially, and provides assistance in technology and equipment. Sea Breeze seeks to build combined capability and capacity to ensure maritime regional security and foster cooperative relationships among partner nations. It is in its 20th iteration and is scheduled to involve 2,000 personnel from eight nations, comprised of 27 ships and 19 aircraft. The main aim of the exercise is to bring together NATO allies and partners in the Black Sea to strengthen maritime security and stability while building interoperability and cohesion. From 20 to the 26th of July, NATO allies and partners took part in Exercise Sea Breeze 2020, off the coast of Ukraine in the Black Sea. Sea Breeze is an annual multinational maritime exercise designed to enhance interoperability among participating nations and strengthen regional security. Co-hosted by Ukraine and the United States, Sea Breeze involved ships from standing NATO Maritime Group 2, SNMG2, one of four groups that make up the maritime element of the NATO Response Force. Sea Breeze 2020 involved ships, aircraft and more than 2,000 personnel from Bulgaria, Georgia, Norway, Romania, Spain, Turkey, Ukraine and the United States.